You make me go so loco, loco, make me go crazy. We would make a beautiful baby. Knock on wood, is you trying to date me? Is it? So, hi guys, welcome to another one of my cute, cute, cute video. If you are new here, my name is Melanie. You're already part of the family. You already know me. I love you guys so much. Mwah. And I have amazing, amazing, and great content coming in for you guys. So just make sure you stay tuned. Like, can't even wait for you guys to see the amazing content that's just been aligned for you guys. Make sure you stay tuned, okay? 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 Yes, okay. You can just keep supporting your girl. That's what's going to motivate me to show you guys the content, okay? Guys, um, apparently, I guess you guys can see already I'm in specs and I can see the reflection of my ring light is showing in my specs and I don't like that because I feel like I'm not seeing myself properly. Mm, okay, you know what? Let me remove them because this is making me feel very uncomfortable. Okay, yeah, so, oh my God, I feel like I'm not seeing properly. <laughs> I feel like I'm not seeing properly if I'm being honest, but okay, let's get right into it, okay? But I just felt like making a video about life out of Zambia. It's been, I've never done such a video on my channel and i just felt like it would be very interesting to like just share how things are i feel like this is a general feeling for most people that are abroad in general just to make sure that i'm not all over the place i'm not just talking and odd stuff i decided to like write the points on my phone that i can at least move in order and all that stuff and you know we're together da 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 yeah <laughs> There's a lot you gotta consider, okay? Lord, you really have to consider. Although coming into it, I think the first thing first is that church. Like one thing I miss a lot about Zambia is going to church so bad. It's going to church. I miss wanting to go to church. It's dressing up to go to church. I just miss being in the presence of seeing a pastor preach. But you know, you're in the presence of God. I miss church. And one thing about China is that church is not common actual churches like like where there's an actual church and everybody's going there those are not so common unless a student you decide to gather and maybe have a place that you can that you guys can be in remember when i first came in the first year the seniors at that time have something like that though right now there's completely nothing like we don't have any group we don't have anything so right now your spiritual life is literally just upon yourself especially for the kind of church i belong the to the second thing is funerals and marriages like guys one of the hardest things when you are abroad is like seeing people die and you can't show up you can't be there to support you are mourning and you are just on your bed sorry but like even the thought of me talking about it can get me a bit emotional because there's just so much pain that's there when you have to like lose people and you just can't be there you just have to console yourself you just have to stick to the memories that you had of them when you last saw them and you know there are some people that could be so dear to you and there are other people that have lost like you know their own parents and they can't show up for like, like you can't go funerals it's a really sad thing i think that's one of the most saddest things about living abroad besides that marriage on the other side which is on the bright brighter side like but you aren't able to attend those marriages you just be told oh no auntie mary got married oh no auntie who's this got married oh no uncle peter now has a baby you just be hearing a b c d z everywhere but like guys you there's nothing that you can do about it they just get to tell you but you are not there to experience and you know be part of whatever is going on so that that's the second thing I would say about living abroad. Third thing, parties. Like, I miss the parties back home. Like, the bride. I miss that space a lot. The parties back home. The time I came to China, I have only attended one party here. And most of the parties, I don't give party, but they give clubbing. There will just be music and people will just either be drinking or chilling with their friends. I think, I think the people from Zambia know what I mean when I say party, party. I think it was more, it had different activities that made it feel like, okay, these are the family parties, the family brides. Those were really fun. Those were really fun, okay? Really fun. I miss those. The fourth point, oh my God, I can't stress this one enough. I can't stress this one enough. But the food, the food, the food. Oh my God, like I miss... <sighs> Guys, you people that are back home, I wish, I wish you people knew that even something as simple as a pie, that the pie, like guys, that normal pie that we used to buy even from a tax shop back in, in primary school, secondary school, whatever. Like, I can't remember the last time I ever saw a normal pie. Like, I have never seen one 
no even no matter how many restaurants whatever you go to they don't even have something like that on the menu the sausage the kind of sausage that we eat here it's literally just fake sausage and we just have to like adapt but that normal hungarian sausage God take me with debonair as well. The way I would want to just munch on the debonair's pizza. Guys, there's a lot of food that you people just even just snacks. The cheese kills. Guys, I can't I can't I've not forgotten how simple cheese kills taste. Manchos. I can keep mentioning food here and there. It's just a certain way that the Zambian food tastes and we, it's so amazing. Like it's it's you you can't compare that feeling. Oh my God, like I can I can talk about the food part guys like over ten times it will then get tired. When I then see some people put food on their statuses, their stories, whatever, you're just like, Oh my god, this food <laughs> Now here you just stuck to the Chinese food and whatever you can access but like the taste, the Zambian taste even something as simple as chikanda guys I can't remember the last time I had chikanda Chiwanto <laughs> Like guys there are just so many food stuff that I can mention that you just get to me like home, home food, hungry lion How could I forget hungry lion oh my god guys we obviously have fries here and chicken but the way the fries taste it's just not the same it's like this you know one thing about china everything feels fake even the life here feels fake, feels fake. the food the oh my the fries i miss those no more thick fries from, like you get like guys those fries can even have them alone these ones whether white white you just need sauce or salad yes and i don't know just something to complement the fries Next point is you miss or crave the smallest or the most stupid things. The things that you never thought you would miss, you would remember. There are all those silly things like, guys, let me be honest, me right now. I like just going on a bus, a minibus in Lusaka. I think for me, with that for me, that would be touring. I just seeing the conductors fight in the bus for change and all that stuff. Like, I can't even remember how it feels to be in a bus and see a conductor fight over change with you or fight with another person. The most useless things, like, you find yourself right now. Every time you go to the mall, there are only Chinese people, like, everywhere. I just miss the feeling of going to a mall and I'm seeing my fellow africans everywhere my fellow blacks sorry i don't know if it's okay for me to call us blacks but we are dark skin we are dark skin which is okay it's very beautiful i love our color it's perfect but like all i'm trying to say i'm just going to the mall and having to see my fellows right now you go to the mall and it's all those chinese people everywhere you can go to the mall and you'll be the only black at the mall this can even be your life for like almost five six months the ratio of you meeting a fellow black at the mall is rare especially for my city i'm not so sure about other cities but like for my city there are no much foreigners the foreigners are only from the school and those that are at the school it's not like people go there on the same day so it's rare to like bump into each other at the mall or meet into it's rare there are so many times i go to the mall and i don't find my fellow blacks and i've been here for quite a very long time the thing about being abroad is that you find your Self missing even the most smallest things i miss being in a place entering the mall and just saying how much is this and the person is able to tell me and say oh please try you know those you know, there's just that guys everything but you just miss the most use like, like even the big stuff obviously but i just decided to make to highlight this as the most useless stuff because the things you never thought you would miss or you you never thought you'd ever think about those are the things you find yourself thinking about like the same bus example i think guys the bus example is a very good example i went on a bus right now i think i'll just be smiling the whole time because it's been a while and i think i would find fun in those smallest things that like people complain about like <laughs> and i hope the time i ever get to the bus i hope I hope people don't think I'm mad because guys like I really miss that a lot. I miss I oh my god, I miss Zambia. But guys, these are some of the things on how it is living abroad, okay? Next point is environment slash family and friends it's very uh, crucial at the same time it's very important when you are in china firstly you are limited to a specific amount of people you don't have access to all types of people you only have access to the one way 
found themselves in the same space you were in. No choice but to only be with those people. That there are some times when you just don't fit in. Like you just don't fit in with the people that are there. And there are only two options. It's either you make yourself adapt or you change yourself so that you match in people that you have found or you make those people change and match to you which is a very hard thing because we all know changing people is not so easy i don't even blame some people when i hear people say things like oh that one from the time she went to china she changed guys i don't blame some people honestly speaking because people are limited and you find people that you can fit in if you find people that you can fit in with then that's well and good you found your people then there are those people that you don't find people that you can fit in with but you just force yourself or you have to change yourself to fit in if you've changed yourself to fit in that particular environment you can constantly feel it that those are not your people and you constantly crave to be back home because you know that those are the people that you naturally fit in with find yourself going for something picking to be around people that don't match the type of person you want to be guys especially if you love back home you come to this place and you don't have that like you just start feeling unloved you feel alone and it just feels bad you know you find yourself maybe trying to fit in with other people you have to like work with the kind of love that they can offer so if they don't make you feel good about yourself or maybe they just don't make you feel like your your best self you still find yourself being in that environment because those are the people that you find yourself even forgetting yourself forgetting that you are loved like those natural things that just come from home you know, i even feel like this is one of the overall biggest points you should actually note like it has a lot guys i've tried by all means to just say like a few things i just can't go a bit deeper on some things because i feel like it might maybe i might end up making it seem more deeper than it should there are different aspects to this there are those that choose to just be by themselves because they haven't found people that they can associate with and i actually know a lot of people i would almost put myself as that choose that truth there are those people that have changed themselves to actually suit in a certain environment and even if those people are not loving you enough you just have to work with that there and then you also find yourself even when you're with people that you know hate you or people that gossip about you but you just have to be there because as friends you're just playing you're just chatting da -da 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 -da. so even if you're not loved you'll just be feeling bad in your blankets they gossip about you they just don't make you feel loved and one thing about the environment it is that it has a huge role to play how you feel about yourself how you feel good and, and all that stuff china really made me realize we loved at home i'm not even going to lie to you i'm loved at home so much but when i came here <laughs> you'll forget like you'll find yourself even doing things like you aren't even loved back home like you'll find yourself like even when you do things you're just like <laughs> the way my, my father loves me if he saw that this is what i was going through or this is what i'm allowing myself to do or this the way my mother loves me if she knew that this is how i'm even feeling like that but when you're back home back home even if you are going to school and you can't fit in you know home there's your mom that will still talk to you chat with you still make you feel loved even from the smallest things and you know you still have your dad but abroad you're here for years and you just have to keep coping up with that or finding strategies by yourself sometimes you might be afraid of being lonely or whatever so you find yourself scooping so low to the lowest love that people can offer and you find yourself feeling bad about yourself or feeling and appreciated i'm not trying to be bad when i say especially if you're loved or if you're not loved back home let's get what i mean like if you don't have that support system back home i think you wouldn't relate to this but if you're coming from such an environment back home i think a lot of people would relate to what i am talking about when you come abroad like i think i've said a lot on this point yeah um i think i said everything else so yeah guys i think that's the end of this video so please click the like button please make sure you comment make sure you share this video make sure you stay tuned for the next video see you guys in my next video for now it's bye and